Mark Cavendish lead out forgets he exists. And I asked yesterday, can he win with a bad lead out? Well, I guess we're about to find out because he could not have been in a worse position to contest this sprint. Tour of Oman stage two, flat stage, going to be a sprint, 168 Ks. Wasn't that much wind, even though they were near the coast. Fernando Gaviria, let me know, what app was he on? Instagram, Twitter, who knows? Cavendish checking out his bike before the stage. He's in the green points jersey, and Gaviria was in the leaders jersey for this stage, and the Oman national team rolling through. So it was going to be Gaviria versus Cavendish round two for this sprint, plus Caden Groves, who... The bike exchange lead out was looking pretty good, but just went a little bit early today. And UAE, UAE has the best lead out here. Richese, he made an important mistake, which we'll see, but they've been pretty good. Breakaway went with Nuskatel Rider once again and Novo Nordisk. And yet yeah, it appears that not too much happened for quite a while. Now, it takes a while for the footage to filter through to me after the stages. If you want to check out my website, lanternrouge.com, we have recaps of the stages very shortly after the stage conclusion. But I also want to know, if you've been following the press, Lefebvre and Quickstep have made early intimations that Jakobsen is going to be the man for the Tour de France this year for Quickstep. But we all remember what happened last year. I mean, this time last year in March, Bennett was winning everything in UA in Paris left, right, and center as Cavendish takes some bonus seconds or points at the intermediate sprint. And so it obviously looked like Cavendish, uh, Bennett was going to be sent to the Tour de France. And then we all know the falling out with Lefebvre and the knee issue and Cavendish ended up going. The rest is history. So just because Jakobsen looks like the man now doesn't necessarily mean that'll be the case. Maybe, the, I don't know, what's better for the sponsors? Jakobsen's obviously from the Netherlands, but Cavendish could break the Eddie Merckx record. You know, the Oman national team was helping quick step and UAE pace, getting some camera time. And the big question would be, could Quickstep put Cavendish in a better position than they did yesterday? It'd be difficult not to, because he was left having to throw elbows in the last 500 metres trying to fight for the wheel of Caden Groves, and then he just couldn't win from that position when Gaviria kicked. Gaviria got a perfect lead up. Breakaway, got caught, Quickstep pacing on the front whilst UAE was sitting in the wheels. And it's like, it's not these guys' fault either. This isn't the Quickstep a or B lead out. They've got Masnardi going for GC, Kaiser, Van Tricht is a Neo Pro, Steels as well. There's no Merku, Van Leeuwen, Lampart, Seneschal, Asgren, Ballerini, you name it, Stibar, they're not here. Anyway, Burgos, patented Burgos move, <laughs> a late flyer in a sprint stage. They do that with in the world all the time um, for some camera time, even though I don't think there was much live coverage of this race. Anyway, that was brought back by UAE helping out Quick Step. It's really hard to evaluate these stages as well because there's there's like two or three proper trains or like really two trains here UAE and, and bike exchange and it's so hard to know okay they did well here but what happens when they go to Paris Nice in a month how are they going to compete when there's eight trains fighting for position anyway bike exchange their track boys lit it up a little bit windy here there's two trains UAE and bike exchange, quick step, nowhere to be seen. So they've already lost control. So on the left, they're sprinting for Caden Groves, the bike exchange on the right, for Fernando Gaviria for UAE. And at this moment, Cavendish is already detached from his lead out. The two quick step riders moving up on the right hand side. We didn't see what happened exactly, like whether it was Cav's fault for not following them, whether they moved erratically. I mean, like Lampard didn't follow Evenepoel at Valenciana. And they look around and they realize at about this point that they have no idea where Cavendish is and they've lost him. And Cavendish is at the bottom of the screen, eight riders deep, boxed in. No one to lead him out in front of him. And Gaviria has th two men left to go in front of him. He's still got Richese fresh. Groves has been left in an average spot as well. He's got one lead out man on the left hand side, but he's sort of, he's badly boxed to Caden Groves and he's wondering how he can get out. Helicopter shot the whole way. I'll, I'll give you the heli uninterrupted helicopter. You can't even see Cavendish. Like, he's not in the screen still, and finally he moves up in the green jersey. At this point, Richese is kicking on the left-hand side. Cavendish is boxed. He either has to go in the wind on the right-hand side. Gaviria still hasn't hit the wind. Cavendish looks like he has no option, goes out of shot, and then suddenly appears, sprinting in the wind, exposed on the right-hand side, and absolutely cleans up Capio Gaviria and Caden Groves, winning easily from a horrendous position, Mark Cavendish. I think this is, I know it's Tour of Oman, and I know he won four Tour de France stages last year, 
but he didn't do anything like this last year. He did not do 20 second sprints into the wind, passing absolutely everybody from a terrible position to be cleaning up stages. I know, as I said, it's only Gaviria who's not in great form as well. And I think Richese made a mistake here. You know how I said how he should open up to the barriers or normally they open up to the barriers? Gaviria was wanting him to open up here, to open up the space to the barriers. Gaviria wanted to go. And he was looking, he was like, I'm about to get jumped by Capio. And that's what happens. Richese opens up that space too late. And Capio, yeah, a bit of an odd move, moves across in front of Gaviria and blocks him completely. But it doesn't matter because Cavendish destroys them both. Caden Groves coming late in the slipstream of Cavendish to take second. But big win for Cavendish makes it 1-1 with Gaviria and he goes into the general classification league. It was Cavendish, Groves, Capio, who's already won his first race this year. Gaviria de, de Vrent, Reim Stewart, Penot, Menten and Canal Blanco. As I said, Cav goes into the leader's jersey with a nine-second lead on Groves. But tomorrow we've got like a 2.6k 7% finish, so he'll lose it tomorrow, and then there's Green Mountain on the weekend, or maybe later on Monday, which is an outrageously hard climb. So different stage tomorrow. Hope you enjoyed the video. Should quick step send Cav to the tour? I'm all on board because I pretty much react to the last thing I've seen and changed my mind based on that. See ya.